I want to thank the Washington Press Corps. I want to thank Carol for all that you do. You know, the free press is central to our democracy, and nah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know I've got to talk about Trump. <laughs> we weren't just going to stop there. <laughs> Come on. Although I am a little hurt that he's not here tonight. We had so much fun the last time. <laughs> and it is surprising. You've got a room full of reporters, celebrities, cameras, and he says no. <laughs> is this dinner too tacky for the Donald? <laughs> what could he possibly be doing instead? Is he at home eating a Trump steak? Tweeting out insults to Angela Merkel? What's he doing? The Republican establishment is incredulous that he's their most likely nominee. Incredulous, shocking. They say Donald lacks the foreign policy experience to be president. But in fairness, he has spent years meeting with leaders from around the world. Miss Sweden, <laughs> Miss Argentina, <laughs> Miss Azerbaijan, and there's one area where Donald's experience could be invaluable, and that's closing Guantanamo. Because Trump knows a thing or two about running waterfront properties into the ground. All right, that's probably enough. I mean, we, I've got more material. No, no, no. no. I don't want to spend too much time on the Donald. Following your lead, I want to show some restraint. Because I think we can all agree that from the start, he's gotten the appropriate amount of coverage befitting the seriousness of his candidacy. I hope you all are proud of yourselves. The guy wanted to give his hotel business a boost, and now we're praying that Cleveland makes it through July.